what's going on stupid chats where we talk stupid at and now today we're about to get into this um uh, nfl former nfl player uh travis rudolph and um so if y'all don't know basically he's on trial for murder of sebastian and what ended up happening um his ex-girlfriend i'm assuming now dominic from what I've seen, it kind of seemed like she was a little bit tipsy, but it's no proof of that. But at the same time, what really ended up happening is she ended up going through Travis' phone and found out, I guess he was talking to whoever or whatever, and she got mad and assaulted him. So then... I guess he was just getting her off of him or whatever. And she ended up calling her brother. And he got some of his friends. And they went back to his place and knocked on his door. And so then his Travis brother ended up answering the door when he went out. And I think he ended up going outside and getting jumped. And then that's when Travis came back with the AR, started lighting everybody up. Now... We got you now. <clears throat> we got some videos that we're gonna go over and just look at, and after we review all the footage, I'm gonna just go back over and you know just give you my opinion on how I think things could have went and what should have happened, and like just overall how can we make the situation better? Because at the end of the day. I feel like a lot of people got how to use a gun down pack, but they don't really necessarily know the laws and restrictions for their particular state when it comes to these gun laws. And now every uh, state is different. And um, I believe this happened in Florida. Florida? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Florida. And so... The thing is, like, they do have a stand your ground law and, you know, castle doctrine, which means if somebody's on your property, like, you could just blow them back without warning. And I feel that because situations like these, I feel like it's too, like, I, I just feel like they're unfair situations because, how you gonna pull up to somebody else's crib? You got your guns with you, and you trying to jump the guy that lives there. He ain't messing with none of y'all. And then when you open fire, you know it's like murder. Oh, he's a bad guy. All of this, but the sad part about all of this, like he he's incarcerated right now, so until uh, waiting trial. But the thing is, it's like. He's wasting his life, time that he will never get back, you know, things that he was supposed to do now can't do because he's tied down right now. And so that's why I say the situation is just not fair because, like, for real, for real, I don't even think bro was in the wrong for that. Like, in all honesty, I feel like that's how it should be. If people come on your property unwanted, and you know they pose a threat to you because they was wearing hoodies and stuff like and it's like nine something at night so it's like ain't nobody just gonna be knocking for no reason so but we're gonna get into these videos and you know just look at everything and see what we could uh see now let's get into it. Yo, we can now see everything playing out on security cameras. This all happened within a second, so my brother was the first one to get to the door, so I was worried about his safety as well. Who is Travis up, Travis up. Travis up. According to court records, Rudolph and his then girlfriend, Dominique Jones, got into a fight earlier that night. Open this door, bro, because this got me. Dominique, stop. Who are you calling a bro? Afterwards, she texted her brother, Keyshawn Jones. Evidence shows they both made threats towards Rudolph. As soon as I came out. Now, keep in mind, I feel like these text messages are going to be 
very important later down the road because come on you can't just be sending texts like go shoot up his shit and stuff like and it's crazy because she was the one that sent her brother and them over there like a lot of this shouldn't happen you can tell he wasn't even beating up on her he just kind of got her off of him and kept it moving. She don't wonder couldn't let it go. And I'm not being biased, but this is just what I'm seeing. So like, hold up. Sorry, We're gonna really. rewind it a little bit. See, look at that. He's just trying to control the situation. That's all he's doing. Afterwards, she texted her brother, Keyshawn Jones. Evidence shows they both made threats towards Rudolph. As soon as I came outside, literally, Tyler, like, he sucker punched me to my left eye. It was Tyler and Sebastian. It was, like, kind of trying to corner me in. And um, Tyler, he had pulled out his firearm. And during that time, Tyler pulled out his firearm. Sebastian was like, you messed with the wrong girl. You're going to die tonight. And then that's when I went back inside and grabbed my firearm. The fight spilling out into the street. The video shows Rudolph then his property with an AR-15. Protect me and my family. My brother was on the ground and jumped by two of those guys. The fight died tonight. See, see, and that's going to be another important part of this case because. Even if he had, like, I don't know if all the recordings of, are out of what happened, but if there's anywhere where they pick up a recording of Re Sebastian saying that he's going to kill uh, Travis and all of them, then it's going to ultimately end up helping his case. Because then at that point, you're given a reasonable cause for self defense. You know, and he said he pulled out his gun and said, y'all going to die tonight. So at that point, what more do you need to justify the action of doing what he did? Because I feel him because at that point, you feel like your life is in danger. Like, what else can you That's when I went there, right? outside and grabbed my firearm. The fight spilling out into the street. The video shows Rudolph then running off his property with an AR-15. I had to do what I had to do. You know what I'm saying? To protect me and my family. Mm, 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 mm. That man just hit that Call of Duty slide with it. Come on, man. The video shows Rudolph then running off his property with an AR-15. I had to do Damn. what I had to do. You know what I'm saying? To protect me and my family. My brother was on the ground getting jumped by two of those guys getting kicked. So that's the reason why I went down the street. While they're all in their car, I see two firearms pointing at me and my brother. And I, like, I couldn't believe it. Like, it's, just, it's just a, a split decision where I just felt like it's, it's either me or, or and my brother or these guys. That's, oh, you know shit. Saying, gonna get hold up, hold up. Rudolph firing hold up, let me get rewind. It's a decision where I just felt like it's, We're it's about to either. slow it down a little bit. On that, me and my brother, and I like I couldn't believe it. Like, it's just, it's just Yo, this nigga got to lighten that shit like, up. Like, boom, it's, it's either boom, boom, boom. Me or or and my brother or these guys. That's you know what I'm saying. Gonna get hurt. Rudolph firing thirty nine rounds. The four men speeding off. I know people at home are going to question, okay, he, he has an AR-15, and he fired. Okay, 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 so, so, how I feel about this clip, like, yo, you can see, uh, I, I'm not sure if y'all can see it, but I saw it, like, bro was just in the corner, just lighting that shit up, but this. At the same time, I feel like it was self-defense up until the point where they drove off. And the reason why I say that is because, 
yes, they retreated back to the car. And this is just going off of his words and everything else. These aren't my words. There's no inside information or nothing like that. But these are, this is just going off of his words. So he said they retreated back to the car and he saw two firearms pointing out the window. At that point, I still consider it self-defense because his brother just got jumped and he's on the ground. And, you know, they got guns pointed at them and he got his gun pointed back. So it's like you can even stretch it. And say, oh, even though they did run away, they still, you know, got their guns, this, that, and the other. And now, yeah, keep in mind, Florida is a state with more, yeah, yeah, it is in Florida. See, it says it right here. So, Florida is a state with more lenient gun laws, this, that, and the other. So, you know, the whole stand your ground on a castle doctrine and all that is still in effect because that's like, because the way I'm looking at it, like, they're on the, like, they're in the car on the street, but he's still, like, at the edge of his property. And they got their guns pointed out. That's a self-defense case right there. Because they did pull up to his crib first and did all of that. But at the same time, where it gets shaky at is when... You could see him speeding off, you know, I guess the tire was shot because you could just see everything, you know, smoking. So while they're getting away, he's still bucking at them. And I feel like that's where he's going to lose a lot of people because now it's like, okay, so they're on the up and up getting away and you still shooting at them. Now it kind of make him look like the aggressor, aggressor. But at the same time, I understand once you once that adrenaline is kicking in, you know, that fight or fight, and you already start fighting and you just going, it's hard to stop. Because this man is really scared for his life. And you can tell in his actions, like, even how you explain the story, like, even from the beginning when he was getting punched on by his girl, uh, What's the girl, uh, uh, Dominic? He wasn't really trying to fight her like that. He was. It's not like he just teed off on her or nothing like that. Like he's really a calm, cool individual, and he was trying to control the situation. But then it got out of control because she had sent her brothers, or well, her brother and friends, to go do something to him. So we so we're about to review some of these videos that happen in the court cases, you know. I mean the court case. And let's get into it. 